In this video, we will see how to configure the URLs and views in Zengo. So basically, there are two files, url.py and views.py in Zengo folder when we install Zengo and create our first project. I have explained how to create project and app in previous videos. You can refer to the channel and see the videos. So what is URLs and views will help us. How URLs and views will help us. Moving to the VS Code, it will help us to display the dynamic content on our Zengo website. In this tutorial, I will show you how to configure the URLs and views in Zengo to handle the user requests. So let's get started. I will move to my app and in this I will move to views.py I will see you can see here in your default views.py you will just see this content you will just see this content ok but I have I am going to add some things like if the server is running then it will it doesn't display anything but if I install from zengo.http like if I do control Z over here so this content from zengo.http I have imported HTTP response what will it do HTTP, re HTTP response is a module or you can a file which will request the server to display the prompt in front of in, in our dynamic website right so I have wrote the content like hello peeps this is Zengo app you can write something else over here like if I write hello all welcome to my website my website ok and there is a smiley over here so it will help us to create views.py and in this way you have to modify your views.py this function will return a simple text response when accessed ok this function home will request a simple text response when accessed now I have to configure URLs for the app so in order to configure URLs for the app we need to link this view this view.py to a URL inside your app folder here I have my app folder over here and I will create a file named urls.py if it doesn't exist and I will add some content over there so I will create a file whose name is urls.py urls.py I have created and uh, from zengo.urls from zengo.urls I will import I will import the path and from my app sorry from from views this dot is used to uh, move to a directory in, in the same folder move to a parent directory no not to a parent directory but move to a directory in the same folder from views I will import home over here because we have created the function name as home you can create by another name too so what will I do I will uh, just write URL patterns a variable name URL patterns what is going to store it will store the path uh, which I will provide nothing and uh, whose name is home and name it will display as home over in our website ok it will direct to the home page route now this maps the home page to the home view ok now moving to next step we need to tell Zengo to use our apps URL I will just open urls.py in my project folder this urls.py both are different things and I will just modify it like this from zengo.contrib 
import admin is there from zengo.urls import path and I will just import another thing that is include okay and I will not import home here because I have already imported there I will just include url patterns equal to path and I will just write over here admin backslash admin dot site dot urls over here admin dot site dot urls over here this will uh, create a path for our website in which admin means the home page okay so I will just modify home over here because we are not going to display home again and again we will include app dot urls which we have created here you can see the urls dot in app folder too app dot urls okay it's done now again uh, if i will if i will now when we visit our website zengo will check that my app in our app there is urls.py over there for matching the roots using the variable url patterns now i will check by running the server python manage.py manage.py run server okay there is some sort of error because there is no file okay i have firstly moved to my project folder python manage.py run server it will just run my server and if you hover over the link then you will have to create click over the link and you can see hello all welcome to my website uh, you the text has been displayed by using the HTTP response so and that's it uh, we have successfully configured the URLs and views in Zengo I have found this helpful uh, give me reviews in the comment section and hit the like button and this is all for this video I hope you have understood the concept firstly we navigated to our app folder and uh, we saw that in views.py we have to create an http response we have to import the http response which will display which will request the server to display the text inside the http response function and then we have created a user defined file urls.py in app folder and which was built in in our uh, my project folder also so we modified in uh, urls.py like this in this way and in our folder urls.py we have just included the name home like if you see here this is the home page okay this will be considered as a home page so that's it for this video thank you thank you so much